tutorial is actually a special tutorial for a really good friend of mine, Freya. This is actually her birthday present. Um, it is belated, but it is a birthday present. Um, we were talking the other day about smoky eyes, and she was saying that she always felt kind of unsure about smoky eyes and how what are the techniques involved to do it. So I thought um, this would be a perfect opportunity to do that. So this is what I came up with. It is um, primarily greens and a little bit of gold and brown, but I think it's a really fun um, look for summer um, and it's still a very traditional smoky eye. So if you like what you see and you also want to see how to do it, keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to prime your eyelid because anytime you do a smoky eye or anything with where you're building a lot of uh, colors, you're going to want to use something that's going to prevent creasing. So I use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. You can find that at Sephora or any other uh, cosmetic company that sells the Too Faced um, products. Okay, now the eyes are primed. Next, I'm going to take a Paint Pot by MAC and this is in Mosscape. It's just a really pretty mossy green. Um, I'm going to use my fingers to apply this. You can use a flat brush if you'd prefer. I just think it's a lot easier. Uh, just a little bit on the finger. I'm actually just going to pat this on the bottom part of the lid, concentrating the most color at the bottom and working it up towards the crease. Okay, so you want that type of shape. With whatever's left on your finger, we're going to take it underneath the lower lash line. Okay, so now that you have that shape, I'm going to take MAC's 242 brush. It's just a flat paddle shader brush, and I'm going to blend out all the edges of where we put the moss scape um, and really just kind of smoke it out a little bit so we don't have any harsh lines. Keep in mind as you're blending, you want to keep that cat eye kind of shape. Okay, now that we have the desired shape, I'm gonna go ahead and set the Mosscape with uh, MAC Sumptuous Olive, which is a really beautiful olivey gold color. I'm gonna take an SS 252 by Sigma. You can also use a 252 by MAC. It's just a shorter, denser paddle brush. And I'm going to pat on the Sumptuous Olive on the lower lid. With whatever is left on the brush after you put the sumptuous olive on the lid, just bring that underneath the lower lash line, connecting it to the side of the cat eye. Okay, now that we've completed that step, from here on out, every step we take um, of each eyeshadow that I build upon, I'm going to take just a round, dome, dense brush. This one happens to be by Sonia Kajuk, and we're going to really blend each step and really keep everything very, very smoky so we don't have any harsh lines. So I'm just going to go around and blend. Okay, now that that is well blended, I'm going to go in with a SS275, which is an angled eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to go in with the color Humid by MAC, which is a really kind of a shimmery forest green. This is where we start to get that gradient smoked effect. And I'm just going to load that onto this don't or excuse me on this angled brush and we are going to add that to the outer third and the inner third of our lower portion of the lids, okay? Go ahead and take your dome brush again and blend. Okay, now that we have that nice and blended out, I'm gonna take another shorter dome brush. This is the SS239 by Sigma. There you can also use the 239 by MAC. And I'm gonna take the color Brune, and we are gonna go in and really accentuate that outer V um, to give us a little bit more depth to this smoky look. So now we just have a little bit more depth to that outer corner. Again, Take your round dome brush and blend. Okay, now that we've blended that, I'm going to go back in with this angled brush and go back in with this humid and just over that outer V, I'm just going to reiterate the humid again just so we can take down the brown a little bit and bring back the green just a little bit. Next step, we are going to take the color bamboo. So I'm going to go in with um, a 224 brush, which is just a really um, loose dome brush. So just place that right above the crease where we've smoked all of that green. Last but not least, I'm going to take a, let's see, a MAC 232, which is a kind of large paddle brush, and I'm going to take the color brulee. 
but this is going to be my highlight color and this is almost this color of my skin tone okay and our highlight is done now uh, we're going to go back in with a max 219 pencil brush again with this color brune and we're going to just take that below uh, the lash line right at the base of the lash line this is one extra step that I think is really important in smoky eyes. Um, as you can see, smoky eyes are not that hard to do, but one thing that is very important is you really want to give the gradient effect where it gets dark and it goes to light and then back to dark again. So you just don't have a whole bunch of dark just all over your eye. So I'm gonna take the color Retrospect by MAC. You can take any, this is like a champagne frost. It's actually very chunky, um, but I really like, I'm gonna use that with um, the MAC's 232, this big paddle brush, and I'm gonna put it right smack in the center of the lower portion of the eyelid. I'm just gonna blend the two together. You don't want any harsh lines, like I said before. So for eyeliner, you can use brown, you can use a green, you can even use a gold if you'd like. But for this look for smoky eyes, I always really, really like to just use a jet black. I just think it really finishes the look off. And I think the green really pops against the black of um, the eyeliner. So for this, I'm gonna use Urban Decay's 24-7 uh, Glide On Eye Pencil in Zero. So I'm gonna use it on my top lid and wing it out just slightly on the edge and then put this in my waterline. Now I'm going to take my Shu Umera um, eyelash curler and I've actually been using lately the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara um, and I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes and put on a coat or two of mascara and then I'll be right back to tell you what I did on the rest of my face. So on to the rest of the face. Uh, you just want, with any kind of smoky eye for me, what I like to do is just keep the face really, really neutral. I like to do a really bronzy looking face, especially for the summertime. So um, first for my contouring, I use Harmony by MAC, which is just like a matte, um, lighter medium brown. Okay, so after I contour, um, I like to just put some bronzer on the face, especially when it's summertime. So I use a um, just a bronzer brick. Uh, this is Golden Mosaic by Laura Mercier. I apply it with a big powder brush. This is a 150 by MAC. And I just apply it on my face anywhere where the sun is naturally going to hit. Your cheeks, the forehead, the chin. Um, and then I just like to add just to the apples of the cheek a little bit of pink so it doesn't look like I just have just a bunch of brown on my face. Um, so I used Pinch of Peach by MAC. Okay, so onto the lips. Because the eyes are so dramatic, I like to keep just a really um, neutral lip going on. So I'm going to put on Soar by MAC and then I'm going to add on top of that um, one of the NYX glosses in 122. Um, the color is natural. Okay, so this is the completed look. Okay, so this is the completed look. I think it's really pretty for summertime, um, you know, night out. I think it's a really neat change up from the traditional black and gray smoky eye or some of the navies and everything. It's really nice to put some of those greens to use. I know I neglect my greens all the time. So this is a really fun look to do. Um, I hope you like it. Um, don't forget to comment and subscribe. And thank you again so much for watching. Bye.